What's going on guys? My name is Kerry and today I'm going to obliterate a myth surrounding manufactured homes that I'm tired of hearing about because it simply isn't true. What I'm talking about is the blanket statement that manufactured homes lose their value or depreciate over time unlike a site built home. I'm going to present a case study of a house that I originally sold brand new in 2014 that has since sold two more times since then. And for those of you that are in the camp that think that manufactured homes only go down in value, I think you'll be a little bit surprised with the most recent list price. But before we get to that, I wanna talk about the factors that can affect the price of a manufactured home and what I tell customers who ask me to project the future value of their home or what they'll be able to resell it for. The main factor affecting the value of a manufactured home is the location. If you buy a home in a location that's desirable place to be that people wanna live, you're not gonna have any trouble reselling the home if you decide to do so. The second thing affecting the value of the home is the condition. So I've seen 25 year old homes that look brand new, but I've also seen brand new homes that look 25 years old. You have to maintain a manufactured home just like you would any other home. And that includes doing things like keeping it clean, mowing the lawn, fixing things that break, weeding the garden, uh, making minor changes to the decor over the years so that it stays somewhat current. All the stuff like that, just treat it like your baby because it is going to be, for most people, the biggest investment that they make in their life and you want to look after it. By staying on top of the maintenance over the years, you can ensure that the small problems remain small problems instead of becoming big problems that are going to affect the value of your home when you go to sell. Now, when customers ask me what I think the value of their home is going to be five or ten years down the road, what I always say is the value of the home, if they're in a good location, is going to be tied to the overall real estate market. The overall real estate market is cyclical, so if the market in your area at the time you're going to sell is in a downward trend, then the value of your manufactured home is gonna be going down at the same time. But on the other side of that, if your home is in an area where the market is going up, which just happens to be the case in most markets right now, then the value of your manufactured home is also gonna be going up. What I didn't expect was for the house that I sold in 2014 to go up by so much. So this house is in a very desirable location in a sought after retirement community and originally brand new was sold for 118,675 including tax. Now those people after one year and seven days decided to sell. They sold it for $126,000. So they walked away with just over uh, $7,000 profit before any expenses that they had to live there for one year and seven days. Now here we are four years and 14 days later and that house was back on the market. It is now off the market again because it was snapped up rather quickly because everybody wants to be in the desirable location and it was well maintained over the six years since it was brand new. So there's a lot of people that want to buy it. The list price, $198,000. $700. I don't have the final sale price yet, but I've heard it was a multiple offer situation. So it was either going to be close to full price or maybe a little bit over full price. So next time you hear someone spouting off that a manufactured home is a bad investment or they depreciate in value, just ignore them because there's a lot of factors at play and they probably don't have a full understanding of what those factors are buy in a good location that people want to live in and maintain your home like it's your baby. And there's a good chance that the value of your home is going to mimic that of the entire real estate market. If you found this information useful, like the video, subscribe to my channel. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.